I'm here to give you a daily update today on Tezos XTZ coming through. We're going to be starting off here on the daily. As you can see, we do have recent all-time highs getting banged here um, in October. Quite interesting, actually, compared to a lot of the other cryptos, right? October was not the favorable month for all-time highs. As you can see, we have seen all-time highs around $9.13. From there, unfortunately, it has just really kind of been quite a strong downtrend. Compared to a lot of the other cryptos, like this is um, not, not the best scenario coming through here. But obviously, yesterday, we did see... Quite big gains, right? Quite big insane gains. We are seeing a bit of a correction today, around a 7.76% correction there. But overall, I want to talk about this parallel channel here on the daily because this is a very good gauge of the price, obviously, depending on where Bitcoin's going to go in that sort of scenario. We've got massive, massive levels of support on this lower side. So what does that tell us, guys? We've got potential for a very nice bounce point. If we obviously see crypto falling off a cliff, right? We know um, Tezos has got a lovely level of support as well. And obviously, volume weight ATR band coming through as well there. So yeah, we know we're probably going to bounce here. So that's definitely something to keep in your back pocket in terms of a, like an accumulation phase in terms of a buying scenario there that's what i would be looking for there for the daily um obviously we're going to see a lot of price action in between that before we get to that sort of area let's jump down to the shorter turn time frames the four hour actually i'm probably going to go to the 12 hour there because obviously we've got a very um dominant trend coming down from that all-time high as you can see there guys very very dominant trend so yeah we're gonna we're gonna get some all-time high trend lines coming through from um from major candle bodies there and as you can see this is a quite a heavily respected point there and now as you can see i would say probably another maybe trend line coming down from there could be looking at a range looking at something along the lines of this and then also another very strong point getting as many touches as possible coming through in terms of wicks and candle bodies here is going to be this sort of zone ever so slightly broadening ever so slightly broadening i don't i don't know if i like it i don't know if i like it because we are seeing it broadening like that. We could see dumps coming down. But um, yeah, you could just say parallel channel, guys, to be easy. <laughs> if you are going to move it up like that. And you could just uh, basically account for some spillage coming through from there. And the way that we do that, we basically bang it like so. And then we basically give ourselves a trap zone, right? And when I say trap zone, we give ourselves a no trade sort of area there and um, where we where we're likely to see reversals and likely to see traps so yeah if we are going to go on parallel channel we are going to be looking at bull flag scenario because it is obviously at the top of an uptrend there and this is um, going to be signifying for a breakout, right? Could be signifying for a breakout scenario for money to be made. You all know why we're here. We're here to make money, cold, hard cash. This is the breakout scenario I would be looking for for a nice trade here. I probably wouldn't be getting in until we clear this 200 EMA. As you can see there, very strong in terms of resistance. Very, very strong. Support, hello, money. That's what we're looking for there. If we can get a nice level of support there. As you can see, this probably could have been an entry. But when you see a candle like this um, coming through, um, even on the 12-hour 12 12-hour 12 candle, like that that's not that's not an entry guys you don't want to be getting in even if you are breaking out with a candle like that you're gonna see a reversal there's gonna be a retest um because if you see you're probably gonna see quite a big investment coming through to about here and then the rest of it is probably just fomo so we know the fomo markets actually do sell off when when we get to sort of the top sort of area there so yeah, that's probably what we are seeing now. So it's definitely going to be a breakout scenario to be looking out for for the future there. Um, I would wait until we've cleared this 200, as I was saying. And then probably first take profit is going to be literally bang on this resistance point coming through from there. Because you can see the resistance at $5.90 there. In terms of percentages, as I was just saying there, 22 point... Um 21, 21.9% 21 there to be looking for. Not too bad. Um, but yeah, breakout scenario looking pretty good for a nice upwards trend. Upwards trade. Very nice money to be made. <laughs> little uh, little rhyme there. And as you can see, another another um another another take profit points being set. And you know the score, guys. You're staggering those take profits all the way up. You're not just literally blindly going for that 20%, right? Because you're probably gonna get reversed on. You're probably gonna see a trap. Crypto is the most heavily uh, manipulated assets in the world. They are. It's fact. Um, so, um, so yeah, just uh, be be uh, be aware of that. <laughs> Take profits all the way up, guys. Um, obviously, nothing I say is financial advice. Please, please, please go do your own research. This is not um, a very fast position as well. We, that was the 12-hour chart, guys. This is going to be over the course of literally days. This is not going to be like a day trade. It's going to be the over the course of like a few days, right? <laughs> um, so, yeah, just uh, be, be, be aware of that, right? Um, and don't uh, obviously you, you're only going to be trading like a five percent of your portfolio, right? Because that's what what you're meant to do. You're not ever meant to invest more than five percent of your portfolio per trade. Otherwise, the emotions take control, and then you're chasing you're chasing the gains or the losses, right? And um, that's not a, not a healthy way to trade, right? And then greed greed factor takes a massive um massive hit as well. Um, so yeah, overall, that's pretty much what I would say about Tezos here. Um, I did jump down to the four hour, but it's the same sort of scenario there. You are looking for maybe potential bull flag at the top of this zone. Um, 
Yeah, maybe actually. Maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe, baby. Yeah, it could be looking at something along the lines of this, guys. Bull flag at the top of an uptrend. Um, so that is an instigation that you're probably going to bounce around $5 there. And obviously price action, uh, price action channel. You've got the, um, yeah, it's the price action channel. You've got the price action channel there as well to bounce off as well. Basically signifying a lovely bounce uh, for another, another, another juicy uptrend. Yeah, no, and that's going to be obviously another another breakout scenario to be looking out for as well um for that um for that move to the upside so yeah overall for tez uh yeah tezos not too bad not too bad a couple of breakout scenarios a couple of trades to be looking out for there but yeah that's gonna be our update today on tezos